What's up guys? This is your boy Mike from RGV Sense. I'm here to do my top 10 list of fragrances that I'll be using this winter of 2016. Now, um, this is the list, my personal list of fragrances that I own and I use personally and will be using the most in 2016. Of course, number one is the fragrance that I'll be using the most and number 10 is the one that I'll be using uh, obviously the least this winter of 2016. Now, um, we're gonna start off by our number 10, 10 fragrance. Uh, this fragrance, I enjoyed a lot, but I uh, rarely use it. I don't go clubbing that much, but when I do, this is the one that comes with me and I wear it. Um, by Jean-Paul Jean Gaultier, this is Ultra Mel. Now this fragrance, like I said, is real good for clubbing, but in the winter it just shines because it's a sweet fragrance. It's a monster uh, projection. It's a performance beast, as I can say. That's why it's very good in the fragrance. It's very good. It's a very good fragrance for the club and in the winter because people will smell you. Um, what can I say, guys? Chapon Gautier, Ultra Mel, my number two fragrance. Notes of pear, amber, very sweet fragrance. Do not wear any of this fragrance in the winter, guys. Not this one, especially. In the club, you're gonna smell different. You're gonna smell like the one millions, the Invictuses out there. You smell good, but in the winter, you can also shine with this one. I'll be using it in the winter uh, personally, but not as much as the rest of this ones. Number 10, Chapago TA's Ultra Mel. And my number nine fragrance, this is by uh, Hanai Mori. And this is HM, HM by Hanai Mori. Now, this fragrance is a unique fragrance in the aspect as the way it changes abruptly, I would say. Um, it starts off, this fragrance, very a blast of citrus, kind of like sweet citrus or lemony. Um, think about it like a lemon head type of uh, scent, you know, that lemony, uh, sweet uh, top note. And then within the 15 minute mark, it changes and it uh, darkens up and it smells like this cocoa or this chocolate vanilla powdery scent totally changes on you and it's a very unique scent because hardly do you get a fragrance that's that citrusy and then it just changes gourmandish very unique fragrance and I do enjoy it and I'll be using it a lot in this winter of 2016 my number nine spot it deserves on this spot Hanai Mores Hanai More HM at my number eight spot now, uh, this is Lolita Lempicus O Masculine. Now, this is my eighth spot because this fragrance, winter, 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 when it's cold outside, it shines. It has notes of licorice, amber, you know, sweet licorice scent at the top. For many people, the, many people do not like that scent of licorice. Uh, I'm not a super fan of the licorice note, but this in the winter and the cold when you're outside in the snow or you're outside in an event, you're going to be outside for a prolonged period of time. This one is the fragrance to reach for. It just shines. It shines in the cold. The colder it gets, the more it smells better and better. Love this fragrance and the sub temperatures when it's real cold outside. Balita Lampicas, so masculine. My number eight spot. And my number seven, there's a recent acquisition of mine. Um, number seven spot, there's a recent acquisition of mine, and I love this uh, scent and fragrance of it. This is uh, Insurrection Too Wild. Now, um, have you guys heard about this fragrance? It's uh, a clone of another fragrance that's real good and it performs in the winter. Now, it's a clone of uh, Thierry Mugler's Pure Havan. 
this is me smells I smell Pure Havan and uh, this smells so similar to Pure Havan and uh, that's why I decided to buy this one and it's not as expensive as Pure Havan and it smells it's good and it's also a beast when it comes to a long lasting its performance is real good it's got that cherry pipe tobacco scent and uh, it actually to be honest I actually prefer the smell of this one than Pure Havan you guys might have a different opinion of it in my opinion I think this one smells better than Pure Havan so that's why I reach for it and it's cheaper cherry pipe tobacco some spices in the background what can you say guys I'm at number 8 spot I'm sorry number, number 7 spot uh, insurrection wild 2 number 7 my number six spot. This is by Van Cleef and our pills. So this is Midnight in Paris. Now, guys, as you guys, seeing this bottle, it's just beautiful, beautiful presentation with the, those constellations. I would say, purpose in the, uh, you know, night in Paris. You look up in the sky. And so, um, this fragrance in Sensi, smoky leathery scent very very enjoyable in the winter especially and I love this a lot in the winter guys very good scent very very enjoyable very very lovable blank leaf on our pills at my number six spot now we're heading to some heavy hitters here for my top five fragrances here and number five, this fragrance is easily take any of the top spots here. But I'm gonna put it at number five. This is by uh, Lanvin, and this is uh, Avangard. Now uh, the bottle is also very, very enjoyable as through the middle, you can see through in the back. But Lemon. Uh, and avant garde with lemon. This fragrance is a sweet, very sweet, nice smelling tobacco fragrance. It's got the notes of tobacco and beeswax in there. So a little bit of a balmy type of scent with a uh, tobacco and because of that beeswax. It's a honey, uh, sweet fragrance tobacco. It's just so enjoyable, man. You get compliments with this one, and it's not expensive at all. Um, I think I bought this for like $30. Very, very, very good sand. Like I said, I could easily put it on my number one, but I just be wearing the rest of my type, uh, my, the rest of this phrase. I'll be wearing it more than this one. But yeah, very enjoyable, guys. Ready to go reach for this one. Avangard, Lanvin's Avangard. My number five spot. Now, at number four. This fragrance, uh, you guys probably, most of y'all heard of it or even own it. And some people even got rid of this because it's starting to become popular and a lot of people are wearing it. I don't care guys, I still love this fragrance. And now I'm going to continue using it, especially in the winter. And this is by Victor and Rolfs. This is a Spice Bomb. Now Spice Bomb, it's a... Sweet tobacco, spicy, you get the cinnamon, tobacco -y type of scent with a little bit of uh, pepper in there. Very, very enjoyable fragrance. Good for the club too. Love this fragrance, especially in the winter. I'll be using it even more, you know, even more. So yeah, guys, if you guys don't like it, too bad. I'm still going to be wearing it. And my number four spot, Victor involves Spice Bomb. Now we're getting to our top three at number three from Terry Muglers. Probably you guys already know. My Terry Muglers, this is Pure Malt. The best fragrance in my opinion. I actually haven't smelled Pure Tonka yet. I've heard a lot of good things about it. But so far, from uh, Pure Malt and the, the other ones, the rest of them, this is my favorite fragrance. And in the winter, even more that uh, sweet malty boozy type of fragrance very good 
and it shines in the winter good for club too because of that sweetness that it has good for clubbing guys really enjoy this one we'll be using it in the winter for sure as my three spot you guys know Terry Mugler's gonna be used a lot number three spot pure malt by Terry Mugler now we're heading to my top two my number two fragrance that I love year round can be used in most occasions been loved in the community this is the um, most more concentrated version 2015 this is by Tolce and Gabbana's the one of the parfum now the original the original Dolce and Gabbana the one we all know about the performance and it sucks or else you know a lot of people would probably make that fragrance the number one this is gonna make my number one because of that reason, but I really enjoy this fragrance a lot year round. Perfect for the office, just it has a beautiful top note of great food. Starts drying down with that tobacco, that uh, amber, uh, just right now. It's just beautiful, beautiful fragrance. I really enjoy its scent, its scent so freaking amazing. You know, the perfume concentration will give you for me five hours, which is good enough, you know. Um, if I need a respray, I'll just carry a decal. I have a bunch there. <sighs> Number two, guys, and especially in the winter because of that darkness that it has, and this fragrance that just shines more in the winter. And my number two spot, Dolce Gabbana, the one, ah, uh, the parfum. And at my number one spot, this is by Valentino. This is called. Uomo. Valentino Uomo. What it is most guys? It's just a beautiful scent. Beautiful top note and it starts a uh, beautiful combination of chocolate, hazelnut. You smell that hazelnut. You smell the chocolate and a little bit in the background of that coffee. Real good fragrance guys. Real amazing. Once it starts drying down, you get it a powdery type of chocolate or cocoa type of scent with that hazelnut stood in there. And it uh, reminds me you know, as a child, especially in this uh, in this winter, you know, um, especially around the holidays when uh, when you're a child and uh, you make yourself some cocoa. You know, you tell your mom, can you make me some cocoa? You can make it yourself. So you open the packet of cocoa. I think I have some hot cocoa here mix. We don't want to tell you about cocoa. Yeah, how cocoa makes. So once you open this and you start pouring it, you get a little bit of that powdery that comes out of it when you're pouring it. That's what it reminds me of, guys, when it's that, that powdery type of cocoa with chocolate scent. Really amazing. It just brings me memories in the holidays when it's cold. And you, you don't go to school anymore because you're on vacation. And I just you just enjoy that scent and that's fragrance. That's the reason I love it a lot at my number one spot not only that but it's just a real good amazing fragrance and it shines in the winter guys very good fragrance so because of those reasons i'll be using this juice a lot in this winter of 2016. so there's my top 10 list guys from number 10 to my number one if you guys have your own top 10 list leave a comment down below if you guys are interested in any of this fragrances and uh, want to know a little bit more of it and you want a full review of it because i want to fully review each one of these fragrances I've just been a little busy lately but yeah my top 10 winter fragrances of 2016 if you have anything leave the comments below we appreciate you guys listening RGV Sense and I'll be signing out thank you guys <laughs>